Here comes the train, and here comes the rain again. The countdown clock and message boards show regular service. It is the calm before the storm. This rider is ready to go nowhere on Tuesday. But I'll be in the house tomorrow. MTA officials want the public to know they are ready for anything, holding a media briefing outside headquarters and the Bowling Green Station in Lower Manhattan. We've actually increased the number of stations where we deploy and pre uh, and, and pre deploy equipment and people from what it was in the past. The viral videos have become a regular thing whenever the rain and storms move in. Flooded subway platforms and tracks tend to happen when the city sewers can't handle the amount of rain. Subway and station crews will immediately alert the control center of any conditions. We manned our control center starting at 4 p.m. this afternoon. And um, most of our crews started at the locations themselves as of 6 p.m. tonight. So they're already in place, ready for whatever comes our way. MTA and the city have learned lessons. Since earlier storms in the summer, some trains did need to be evacuated as water stopped them in tunnels. What we do is we go there and we make sure that we optimize the conditions, that we clean the catch basins, we make sure that the drains are working everywhere, we get to the valves that are vulnerable for whatever reason, and we attack those problems. We block off the, uh, the grates. All of those actions are being taken in advance, but flash flooding is unpredictable, so it's no guarantee. In the past year, more of those electronic message boards have been installed in stations. They can deliver real-time information. Keep an eye on those on social media accounts, mine too, and of course the Pix11 Morning News. Outside MTA headquarters, Greg Mocker, Pix11.